All right, I'm back with a short, uh, but I think interesting video for uh, decoding DJI drone ID. I'm not going to get into or pretend I know all the specifics of how this technique is uh, working. I've done some videos in the past using GNU Radio uh, to decode, I think it was OcuSync 2 at that point. Uh, what's unique about this recent technique here uh, that is, well, appears to be limited to the Ant SDR E200, uh, the, the manufacturers or the developers of that um, Ant SDR have created a firmware and this firmware will run on the Ant SDR E200 and decode DJI drone ID pretty much looks like in real time. I've shown a sh uh, real short YouTube short <clears throat> doing this. Uh, obviously I can't really run it too long. Uh, you know it'll show the uh, GPS location and everything else so I'll try and run it real quick here just to show how it runs and I'll probably splice in just some other video content uh, where you can show it uh, being used uh, out you know for real uh, but let's get set up so I've got a USB um, where I can plug an SD card in and say I figure I might as well sh highlight this say you uh, let me think say you have a new SD card that you want to get set up for your Ant SDR E200. You can put it into a Dragon OS system here. You can see it is FAT32. Uh, if you wanted to start fresh, uh, you'd come in. Uh, let's see. Create a new FAT32 partition. Hit apply. I just did that with the KDE partition manager. You could do a command line, obviously. Now, the key is uh, when and if the firmware that I am using uh, is up there on you know github or however they're gonna uh, you know distribute this um, in my case I just had it in a zip file you can see there's five files in there and once that SD card is formatted I can go and copy paste paste those five files in there eject the SD card Pull that out. I'm going to put it into the Ant SDR E200, which has a uh, has a 2.4, probably 5 gigahertz antenna attached to it. And all we need uh, from here is, uh, if it's not already installed, sudo app install TIO. You can do it other ways, but uh, essentially we just want to connect to the console. Now I will warn you, sometimes I've noticed this when you have uh, certain computers or maybe having TIO open uh, to begin with. Well, I guess I can't in this case because it's not actually there, but let me just show you. It's probably going to say it can't. Uh, yeah, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm only going to plug in the power console cable to the Ant SDR E200. I just want to show you it booting or what can happen sometimes if you have the console cable plugged into certain computers so right there that's exactly what I wanted to show you that happens sometimes I've had that happen actually with my uh, Wi-Fi uh, halo stuff I, you know maybe there's like some dirty you know whatever output going on let me see if I hit boot um, uh, let's see I've had to do this load load I think maybe load was it boot there we go boot so so you can see it's booting up now um, I just point that out because I've had that happen uh, with a, a, with my Wi-Fi halo equipment uh, happens on some computers it doesn't happen on others I, I don't know it's it's strange if I plug the <clears throat> USB in before turning the computer on it's fine uh, and almost every time um, my uh, War Dragon, if I plug it in after it's powered on, I've never really had that where it kind of stops. So I don't know. There's probably something going on there with um, something, you know, interrupting that boot process. Anyways, that doesn't normally happen. I just was pointing that out. All right. So uh, I, I can't go further in. Now, I could SSH in and, and um, into this uh, file system, but this is me looking at the output of the Ant SDR E200. Can't get much simpler than this. I'll 
now if I go over here and I have a DJI <clears throat> Mini 3 um, Pro basically and we'll see and I'm gonna make this quick too because uh, hopefully it just has no GPS location I turn this on you're gonna see near near like almost instantly we're gonna start getting um, information here and then uh, I'll turn that off so let's see I get this turned off okay there we go so drone is off <clears throat> but you can see that uh, you know it gets the dev device type the of course the GPS time and none of the GPS information is filled out because I didn't give it enough time to get that um, what else frequency you can see five seven five six it was pretty much on let's see on that the whole time but I've noticed you know as it runs it, it keeps up fairly well as that frequency uh, changes and what else so I know that was pretty uh, I mean it really is that that um, that easy uh, to get that that running and I've been told that's tested out to uh, what was it like 20 20 kilometers or something with a, an LNA and and a you know a good type antenna on the 5 gigahertz so yeah that's pretty much all I have I mean to me that's a pretty that's a pretty cool thing there that that's all running on the Ant SDR E200 itself it was fairly easy to test and yeah just uh, hopefully that gets out and that's usable now keep in mind there probably um, is I think some maybe some encryption coming with DJI on or so I hear on uh, newer models I don't know how far back that that encryption could be you know applied to what you see here and then uh, I guess if you get a chance do do a little bit of uh, research on uh, aeroscope because essentially it seems like it's doing uh, basically what what that uh, what that provides so all right well uh, have a good one thanks